Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus, and I'm back one more time. I was thinking about maybe some of those of you who I have not been able to reach just yet. And so I was just thinking about, uh, so everybody wants a way out of their hell. That's understood. I think we would all agree. Everyone that's in hell wants a way out of their hell. And when we talk about our nation and our economics, we're often, often taking initiatives to try to do what we can to get out of this hell. Now, there are very few things that we can do. And uh, one of them is the lottery. So I'm asking... Uh, did your lottery ticket win today? Did it get you out of the hell you were hoping it would get you out of? Now, when I say that, I'm probably speaking to millions of individuals who were trying to do whatever they could and the most convenient thing that they could do was to buy a lottery ticket and put their hope that maybe something will smile on them on this occasion and deliver them from this hell hole that they're living in. Now this is a, a basic evidence, ladies and gentlemen, of the message that I bring to you about the kind of situations of life that we live in, if we will admit it to ourselves. Truth of the fact is, we can't imagine too much about another life other than this we see and live every day. We know that there are some people called the elites and they probably live a more outstanding life in relationship to access than most of us do every day. And so for some strange reason, we don't necessarily strive to be like the elites, but we would like to be without some of the bills, some of the debts, some of the pain and suffering and struggles that we have to go through in order to enjoy a small measure of life. And yet our lottery tickets did not win. We're just two dollars poorer than we were the day before. But gambling is legal. It's big business. There is all kinds of money made off of it. Now you you don't get the money. Sure, they give out. There's so much money made, they give out a, little, a distribute of monies in various locations to say how appreciative they are of the, <laughs> of the licking you just got. And they really appreciate it. Somebody probably didn't win from your location, but somebody won. So you can't be angry. Somebody got some big time money. But the, here again, that represents the darkness of the society that we live under, ladies and gentlemen. This is why it is so important that you get a chance to hear some information about the true God of love. To hear some information. No people are not teaching you information about the true God of love. People are doing what they have been taught to do. They are taking the words of dead men and they are studying these words and they are trying to associate it with times and try to make some analysis in which they, they might conclude this or that and they bring it to you and sell it to you. But I say hogwash for that. I say if any God can talk to Abraham, if any God could talk to Moses, if any God could talk to Daniel or David, if any God could talk to any of those dead men in that Bible, is he any lesser God today by having an inability to talk to you? So I say the evidence that, the, that God is the God of these dead men is because he, the evidence exists 
that he's my God as well and able to communicate with me as well. So, sure, probably, probably communicated with David and Daniel and all those guys. Wow, well, I know he's able. Why? Because he communicates with me. Now, if he can only communicate with them and not me, then I don't know where you're coming from. So what I'm basically saying to everybody, ladies and gentlemen, is that the message of life today is about a personal God. A personal God. When I ask you how you feel about God, this is what I'm looking to hear. I'm looking for you to praise God for being here and being an instrument of God, doing what God wants done. Now, I don't, this is somebody who is in the light talking like that. But other people, they can't talk like that. They don't even know anything about God. They know a couple of things in reference. They know their parents and the dominion that the parents exercised over them. And they got mature enough to step out of that prison and stepped into the world's prison where the law has dominion and control over them where everything is designed to teach what is required for you to know and set you up to be whatever they have already determined that you are to be, and you be that. That's another prison. But the truth of the light of God is to set you free from all these prisons and to let you know that your power is divine power. And you have the authority to exercise it any way you choose. You can continue to exercise it the way you've been programmed to exercise it if you're satisfied with that. But if you're not satisfied with it, then you are free to also change your mind and exercise it another way. And whichever way you exercise your power is where that power generates authority. So, what I'm basically saying to all of us is that the purpose of life itself is to pursue life, to understand. And I realize we've come to a point where we think that life is money. Money, 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 money. Everybody wants money, money, money to take care of all those things that you do anyway amongst yourselves to benefit that which it is designed to benefit but at the expense of those who actually benefit for the benefit of those who are conning you the deceivers well anyway I just wanted to let you know that when you have, are being permitted to try to gamble your way out of darkness, it is an indication that everybody understands the game. Everybody knows that they're in darkness and they're trying some way out. And the way out is another way of robbing you while the game is continuously played. And I just wanted to let you know that that game is game but there's a sure thing and that's with God now you know this guy that's speaking to you right now has indicated that he'd like to represent God in this political year 2020 coming up to some presidency to give you an alternative to this which has been failing you your entire life and an opportunity for you to stand on your own to feet and make a decision for yourself, not based upon some political persuasion or some political party or some candidate, but upon your own values and your own intentions and desires and aspirations for life, give you a chance to make that decision by doing something that they haven't done before, and that's believing in one another, hoping for one another working with one another for the outcome that each of you desire. 
Now, I think I'll leave it there because a lot of tickets are not going to work, but this can. Until next time, this is Ed Marcus saying goodbye.